Hi, I'm Charlene O'Malley. Welcome to O'Malley Antiques. We are here in historic Mount Washington. Uh, we are here um, since 2009. Uh, we previously were in Roland Park for 10 years, so this store is double the size of our old space. This is an interesting piece of art that we just recently had archivally framed. Um, the artist here is Claire Leeton, and she was a British artist. She came to Baltimore in 1938 and was here for a year. But when she came to the United States, she actually did a, a, a print of 20. This is marked in Roman numerals 8 over 20. So this was produced in Baltimore the first year that she came here. And there was an old label on the back, which many Baltimoreans will remember, which is the Purnell Galleries. So she probably sold this to Purnell, and he framed it and retailed it at his store. This is titled To the Milking, and it's ex the detail is just fantastic on it, and so is the condition. Another important aspect of collecting furniture and decorating your home or office with it is to understand that it's not necessarily important that all objects be the same age or even the same materials. I find that the most important way of setting a, a good room up is to keep the scale appropriate. So in other words, you don't want to have really tall chairs, really short tables. One of the things that you see here, for example, this is an American table, these are English chairs. However, the scale of the chair benefits the table because it can go between the legs, one design does not overwhelm the other. And what you see when you walk into the room is the pretty crest of the chair all the way around. In negotiating, I think the first thing that you need to do is make sure you're finding the product that meets your needs and establishing by the sticker price that is, it's in the realm of what you can pay. You probably can negotiate five, seven, percent off of that, but by and large you're not going to have big swings. But I will tell you that in today's market from say 10 years ago, the value of the pieces has, um, I, dealers have been able to buy better. As a result, we're able to sell at lower prices. So the prices that I have in here now as opposed to what I had in Roland Park sometimes are half. You want to look at if, if somebody owned this bank and had it, and where they would touch it and where it would wear. So this, again, if you look and see the paint is worn and chipped on this, this is the way you want to find this. If it was in pristine condition, it's something most likely that would be a reproduction. If you get a penny bank like this, you can save up week by week, and when you finally have enough, you can come in and visit us, fire away, and buy what you'd like. <laughs>